Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the color subtraction challenge. Uh, what you need for this experiment is pom-poms and red glasses. I'll have those in the description where I got mine. All right, welcome back. So today's experiment is the color subtraction challenge. And so we have a whole bunch of different color pom-poms and we also have red uh, glasses, which I have in the description where you can, where I got mine. So white light is all around us and it's made up of different wavelengths. So each color, right, uh, as we know, has a different wavelength. Um, so students have passed this light through prisms or they've seen a rainbow. And so they know there's all different colors of light around us, right? So instead of a prism today, we're going to use a filter. And so this is gonna remove the wavelengths of light. So our filter is a red filter, so with these glasses. So it's gonna absorb all the color wavelengths except for red in our case. So that means only red wavelengths can be seen through these glasses. All other colors are stripped away and absorbed by the glasses. So this is called color by subtraction. So when you wear these glasses, um, you're gonna look at uh, an object, which is our case, these pom-poms, and the red glasses are absorb the color wavelengths of that object except for red. So um, the less red it, a color is, kind of like blues or greens, the darker it looks because it's more of a wavelengths are being absorbed and subtracted. So when you see reds, yellows, and oranges through these, they're brighter. So, um, so that's kind of how it's gonna work. So um, what we're going to do is show uh, a person, uh, one of the uh, people doing the experiment, to one of these colors without them seeing all the other pom-poms. And then they're going to have to have these, then they put the glasses on and we'll turn them around and they have to pick five of similar colors, um, what they think it is. So that's kind of what the challenge is. And we will start in just a second. So you can see here at this demonstration, when all lights, all colors are coming in, you can see all colors. But once it hits that red filter, our glasses, the wavelengths get absorbed and blocked and you'll only see red. So here my volunteer sees green without the red glasses on and turning the other way so she can't tell. And then she puts the glasses on and then she's going to pick out what she thinks is five greens. And as you can see, um, she's doing pretty good. She's going to get, she got three out of, uh, she's getting three out of five. So that's just pretty good. Most people get one to two. So that's pretty good. So now we'll try with a lighter color. We're showing her yellow. She puts the glasses on. Uh, now looks at all of them so she couldn't cheat and she's starting to pick everything's looking light to her and so she's going and she's got uh, two out of four and finishes up with three out of five again so pretty good overall here you can see what it really looks like if you have the red filter glasses on right the red glasses are going to filter out all colors you're basically going to see dark and light colors and so even though my volunteer was able to get three out of five both attempts, um, it's more of just of a guess. And, you know, everybody's a little bit different and you can see a little bit more shades for every person. But uh, overall, it's a very tough challenge. And most times you only get one or two correct uh, because you're just guessing at this point. You do not know which color is which, as you can see uh, with this example right here. So it's not as easy as I think, think it is. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you did, remember to click thumbs up and share. And thanks for watching. Here's some other experiments you might want to try. You could try this one right here, the black and white disc. Or maybe this one over here. This is a cool one right here. Or you can try down here the copper pipe with a magnet. Or the last one right down here, fire in a bottle. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Thanks for watching.